system. He is the guy when it comes to Rookie of the Year. What a year he's having. And this is the type of player you have to be excited about. There's no question he should be at the top of the Rookie of the Year rankings. Totally agree. It's taken him only about half the season to show he is going to be a force and a face in the NBA for a long time. Now the starting group for the visitors. And for Chicago, Anthony. And celebrating New Year's Eve with a little bat basketball, New Year's Eve. Get a chance to play, hopefully get a win, and then you can have a little minor celebration after. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. Shooting for Chicago. And he makes a first. Taking two shots. And good on the system both. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. He takes it in. And Anthony. Anthony slams it in. Wow. And Anthony. Anthony slams it in. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Tries the nine-footer. That shot missing. The three, pure from three-point range. It's blocked. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. A shot from the high post. Another shot. It's tipped. Three-pointer. Knocks down the long J. Looks like a play they've definitely run in practice. Here's Anthony. He got a piece of it. They retain possession. Offensive rebound. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Johnson. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Three-pointer Anthony. Drains the triple. Anthony's got his... There's 14 seconds left in the first quarter. Four seconds left. Here's Barrett. And it's good. But hang on here. The officials may want to take a look at it on the replay monitor. The previous play is under... He beat the buzzer. And there's really plenty of time remaining in this game. So you want to make sure the right call was made. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So the replay was conclusive. Call in the first. Get ready for the Up by. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. Let's get you back to the action on the floor as the New Year's Eve festivities continue. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, you have to credit their effort on the defensive end. It set the tone for this contest. The defense has been infectious here as everybody mostly on that end. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Outside Johnson. Got a hand on it. It's stolen by Johnson. Tipped. And here's Anthony. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. He was unstoppable. To the inside. Dunks it hard with one hand. For Chicago, they've gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Here's Walker. Deflected. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Anthony with it. And Walker picks him up defensively. Doesn't go for him. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here we go. It's tipped. In transition. Here they come. Beyond the arc. Drills it from deep. He's got 12.
Here's Anthony. He's got seven. Going inside. Got a hand on it. And here's the fast break. Here's Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. B.A., yeah, forget about attempting the long-range three to cut into that lead. Just attack the rim, my man. Man, that was sweet. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam. Capturing the moment. He's all alone for the finish. And he hammers it home to polish off the break. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. And they're running. Oh, the are top. you kidding me? Wow. Amazing. <laughs> the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. Love. Oh, that's good. All the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And that Number one's four. good. 18 points for him. Now, pass to Anthony. Blocking foul called West. First personal foul. First team foul. The home team on D. Anthony slams it in. West first wow. personal foul. Oh. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Using his size to full advantage, he beats everyone to the ball. Inside. Here's Moncrief. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Clock at six. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Driving to the basket. And that one is hammered home. They're really dicked. And they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the embers going. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Who had a nice open look right there. He, the basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw comes his way. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Free throw drops for Love. 32 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. On oh, 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 man. Oh, my God. He goodness. had the runway. Oh, indeed. And he let it rip. Nice. Just rising up to the... Has to Love. It's Walker on the wing. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got four rebounds now. Here's Moncrief. Let's it go from deep. That shot off the mark. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. Delivering the blowout. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. Outside Johnson. It's stolen. Pass to Moncrief. Fires from deep. Nails it from three. He has seven. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Here's Johnson. It's deflected. Second chance shot. And it's out of bounds. Ball is still Chicago's. Six to shoot. Pass to Moncrief. Jacks up a three. The shot comes out. For Chicago, they've gone only one for six here in the second half. I almost can't believe what I saw. Incredible. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Anthony. And Anthony slams it in. Just great all playing for one another. I think for Kansas City, they've just been relentless coming out of the gates. And what I love is that everyone is focused. You couldn't have asked for a better start. Yeah, they're using that F word, Jones. focus. A lot of teams suffer from a lack of concentration in the early part of the season, but not this team. They're ready to play right from the opening tip of the very first game. Kansas City foul call. Number four, 
second. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one only getting stronger with plays like that. For Chicago, they've gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. So, Brian, the NBA tests out different rules in the G League, including shooting one free throw for all the possible points to speed things up. How much did it hurt players' free throw percentage? Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. I love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. And he drives in, and yep, that's going to be a flagrant one. Unnecessary contact. Ooh, hard foul. Can't let him get away with that level of contact. That's a simple call for the officials to make. Everyone knows the league is cracking down on that kind of intimidation. As on that open. Blocked! The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Johnson's got 26. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half here in the second. Using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. The free throw drops for Anthony. Number 53. And that one goes in. in. And right now, I think he's a big factor in how they're getting to the line. Outside Johnson. Here's an eight-footer. And it's blocked. He keeps control of the ball. Anthony, the pass to Barrett, and he jams it home. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half here in the second. Using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. The free throw drops for Anthony. Number 53. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Yeah, sometimes in a game you settle a little bit before settling in. And right now, I think he's a big factor in how they're getting to the line. Outside Johnson. Here's an eight-footer, and it's blocked. He keeps control of the ball. Anthony, the pass to Barrett, and he jams it home with authority. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Love, and it's blocked. And the ball's out of bounds. It was last touch by Ant. 24. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Here's Moncrief. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. <laughs> and this is something is why the teammates love him. First team foul. So it's the home team now. They trail by 18. Guarded by Barrett. Takes the three. That shot is off. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Anthony. Anthony. No doubt there's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look. So the officials can be sure they get it right. After the review, the challenge is successful. And they've made their decision. The call the will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, Kansas I think City Coach would challenge ball. that call again if he could. Yeah, he really disagreed with the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Tries to spin move. Just five on the clock. Love finds Johnson. There's the triple. He can't get it to go. For Kansas City, they've gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Anthony, Anthony with a bucket. Three point of a look. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Outside Johnson. They need this. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. The shot misses. You love to see guys challenge one another like that. Advantage to the defense that time. Second chance effort. Pure. Number four. That's basket number there, but ultimately uh, 
didn't work out. You know, he's going to get a few stares from his coaching staff and probably his teammates in the next huddle. Now, that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second team foul. The free throw drops for Anthony. For Kansas City. Anthony taking two shots. And Anthony drops them both. Chicago shooting around 35% for the game. This one for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And there's the drive. And Anthony slams it in. Just great off. Two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul, fifth team foul. The first one falls. Shooting for Chicago. West. At the line. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Thirty-four seconds left in the game. Down low, and it's flushed down. A nice jam. The man with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. From downtown, fires in the triple and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Ali LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. Now our New Balance Player of the Game.